Sorry I'm late, Jerry. Don't sweat it. I've come to expect that of you anyway. <laughs> come on back. Oh, the weather's so nice. Uh, cut to the chase. What's on your mind? Oh, it's the most wonderful thing. I think I've fallen in love. You? <laughs> so tell me about her. She's everything I've ever wanted. Sounds typical. No, but I mean it. Remember when I told you I've never felt anything toward a girl? Uh, yeah. We were starting to think you were asexual. Right. Well, with her, I feel something. Not just something, but everything. Describe it. Well, it started in my gut. But I mean deep down in my gut. It's like somebody flipped a switch and all of a sudden there was this electric current pulsing in me. It went all the way down to my toes and then straight up to my head. I started feeling hot and it was getting hard to breathe. I kept on trying to read my book, but I just couldn't stop staring at her. I mean, I just couldn't stop. It's love, all right. It sounds like love at first sight. Some of the most potent stuff on this planet. I never even believed in that. You never do until you experience it. Have you experienced it? I mean, love at first sight? Now, this isn't about me. You gotta focus on getting with the girl. Well, that's why I came to you. You've always managed to get every girl you've ever wanted. You flatter me. I wish I was. Ever since you first asked out Alyssa Pollock back in kinder, you've never been rejected. I was thinking maybe you could help me do the same. I'll even pay you. Bradley, I'm not gonna take money from a starving college student, especially not from one in love. So then you help me? Of course. Just tell me where and when I can find her. I need to observe her habits from afar to make sure that you say and do all the right things on your first date. Which, by the way, should be next Tuesday. That is, unless she's already made plans. Every day at 3 o'clock, she sits under the big oak tree at Conrad Park and reads a book for about an hour. Ah, so she's a scholar. Good for you. Good for you. You deserve a smart girl. She's not just smart. She's beautiful. She's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. All right, calm down, Romeo. <laughs> I'll check in with you tomorrow and share my findings. I get out of here. Let me enjoy the rest of my day. Anything for you, Jerry. Sorry, Bradley. Maybe tomorrow. Oh my gosh, are you okay? I'm so sorry. Lady, are you a driver or a kamikaze pilot? I know. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I've been late for everything today. Are you all right? I don't know. Do I look broken? You look pretty good to me. But you ripped your shirt in the fall. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I've got a million of them. Don't tell me not to worry about it. I almost killed you. I have a few of my brother's old shirt in my trunk. I was gonna donate them, but I could find one to fit you. If you insist. That doesn't look too bad at all. I know. Maybe you should hit me more often. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess this makes us square then. I still feel terrible. You have to let me make it up to you somehow. Uh, don't sweat it. Let me take you out to ice cream or something. Uh, I suppose it would be foolish of me to turn down free food. <laughs> so meet me at You Scream Ice Cream. I'll try not to hit you on my way out. Jerry! Hey, where have you Bradley. been? 
Where have you been? I've been trying to reach you for like a month. You haven't even been home. Do you have any developments for me? Have you set up a date? I, I need her, Jerry. I need her. I understand, Bradley, and I'm really sorry about that. You know I always put friends first. But, well, something came up recently. Something big. What, what sort of something? Remember how you asked me whether or not I had experienced love at first sight? Remember how I told you you need to experience it yourself sure. in order to believe it? Sure, I remember. Well, I felt it for myself. Well, that's amazing. That's wonderful. Tell me all about her. Uh, I'd love to, but I'm actually about to go on a date with her right now. I don't think you want to keep me from that. But listen, I promise I'll get back on your job tomorrow. Does your lady still sit under the tree at Conrad Park? Every day. Good. Then by this time next week, all four of us will be on a double date. Thanks for giving me hope, Jerry. Without your help, I don't know what I'd do. Hang in there, Bradley. Everything's gonna be just fine. All right, Bradley. Let's find you a lover. Daphne! Jerry, what are you doing here? Well, I was just about to ask you the same. It's nice of you to surprise me here, but I think you might be interfering with my business. Well, I didn't come to surprise you. Oh, no? No. I come here to read almost every day. I've been doing it for years. You mean you always come here? Right here? Right under this tree? Right under the tree in the middle of Conrad Park? Yeah, of course. Why do you look so sick all of a sudden? Uh, never mind that. I have to make a call to a friend. Sue it yourself. Hey, Bradley. Uh, this is gonna sound kinda crazy, but you never told me what the name of the woman is. Come on, Jerry. Don't keep me waiting. Tell me all you found out about her. Well, I'll tell you, this Daphne really seems like a great girl. I already know that. But tell me, do I have a chance with her? What lines do I need to say to woo her? <laughs> I, I don't know how to put this lightly. What, um, what is it? Spit it out. The truth is, I don't, I don't think you're right for each other. Wouldn't work. I knew it. I knew this would happen. The first girl I feel something toward and it just won't work. Why'd you play me like you could help me? Why'd you give me hope and just pull it from right under me? I wish I would've never told you. I, I wish I would've never fallen in love. Thanks for nothing. She's already with someone else. You came in too late. I don't know what I'm gonna do, Jerry. I never even believed in love at first sight. I started to not even believe in love. And then she came along. Well, as long as you still believe in love at first sight. I hope everything works out with you and your girl. Thanks for everything, Jerry.
Bradley, just listen. There isn't much time for talking. If you want to have any chance with Daphne, then you'll do just as I say. Ten minutes from now, leave your apartment and go to her reading spot. If I've planned everything correctly, she should be right there, and she'll be crying. Go and comfort her. Give her all the love that she needs. It's not much of a chance, but it's something. There you are. What was it you wanted to talk about? Daphne, do you believe in love at first sight? I haven't thought about it much, but I don't suppose I do. You don't? No. I love you, Jerry. <laughs> but when I ran you over with my car, all I thought of was a potential lawsuit, not love. Then we spent time together and got to know each other. That's why I love you. So, if I were to go away, uh, die or get abducted by aliens or something, <laughs> do you think you could come to love another man? I suppose so. Why do you ask? Well, Daphne, I've put this off long enough, so I might as well just come out and say it. There's another woman in my life. One who I met a long time before you. We used to be in love, and now that she's back, I think I'm in love again. So what are you saying? Believe me. It's been great, but the problem is I loved you the first time I saw you, and I'm too much of a skeptic to believe in love at first sight. Jerry. I, I've already made up my mind. Don't worry, though. I'm, I'm sure another man will come along. Just give him a chance, like the one you gave me, okay? Sorry. <laughs> Late as usual, but this time I have a reason. Jerry, I don't know how you work your magic, but you, my friend, are a magician. What do you mean? Well, I found Daphne exactly as you said I would. She was crying over some jerk guy, and I was there for her, like you said. And I don't know how, don't, I don't know, but she fell in love with me. You of little faith. Remember, I never failed. No kidding. Hey, I wish I could stay and talk, but I have a date with Daphne. But I wanted to give you this. Keep it. Take her to You Scream Ice Cream. I think she'll like that place. Thanks, Jerry. I'll see you later.